All right, Brandon, I got to read something. You Can you see this picture? Mm-hmm. All right, we talk about Brandon's hometown. <laughs> Atlantic woman <laughs> is filing a lawsuit against the company that operates Popeyes and several mm-hmm. employees of the location she visited last September. Miss Dawson said she went to Popeyes on Cleveland Avenue to get dinner mm-hmm. for her children. She said her order was wrong and she went to the drive-thru to have it fixed, mm-hmm. but says the employees inside were not listening to her. Miss Dawson uh, said she pulled up to the window and employees began yelling at her because she was holding up the time drive-thru. Mm-hmm. One of the employees came outside, opened Miss Dawson, patches the door, climbed in her car and began attacking her. Miss mm-hmm. Dawson said the employee ripped her hair out of her scalp, leaving a large ball spot. The police identified three employees involved in the attack as manager, Mm. Miss Evans, and her sister and daughter. All right, so Brandon, we at we in the hood in Atlanta. Mm -hmm, For sure. Popeye (laughs) Popeye is 95% of the locations are only in the hood. (laughs) Why is that? Just a quick, quick, quick answer. Why do you think that is? Fried chicken. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Fair Fried enough. chicken. And Popeye's got so smart, they don't have vegetables no more. They just, <laughs> they just, they just continue all with the vegetables. <laughs> all the thing on the menu is chicken and starch. <laughs> <laughs> and sugar. Sweet, sweet, co- <laughs> sweet coleslaw. If you don't believe me, look it up. Because when Popeyes first came out in 1999 in Columbia, South Carolina, mm-hmm. if you went to Popeyes, you got the real Louisiana food. <laughs> yeah, it was totally different than it is now. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, it was something spectacular. Right. People won't remember. The young folks don't rem- won't remember and never son right. seen the real Popeyes <laughs> when they first came here <laughs> serving Louisiana food. Right now. I think last year, the year before, all the vegetables off the menu. No more green beans, starch, french fries, mashed potatoes. If you want some, if you want some vegetables, sweet coleslaw, loaded with sugar. That's your Popeye. Why? Why? That's so sad. I ain't really. Brandon, we don't want vegetables, Brandon. <laughs> we don't want vegetables. We need them. We need them. We don't understand that, but we need them. We used to eat soul food with vegetables, but now I don't know what what would you call what they serving at Popeyes? Like you say, I said chick, fried, fried, chicken. fried chicken and starch. <laughs> That's what they serving, Lord. And if crazy. you looked at their website, they said we get rid of them green beans. <laughs> you know, they out of there. Red beans and rice. Red beans out of there. Right. I went you know, and tried every time I try to go to Popeyes and order red beans and rice, they don't have it. And what I really want, they never have. And like I say, it's usually size because I miss some of their size. Like you said, they used to have really good size, but they're trying to eat about fries. What a quarter of a century ago, <laughs> Popeyes had a good size, they and did. they don't have it no more. They did. <laughs> they don't, they don't what about what about KFC? Have you been to KFC? Because I used to get KFC had some good size too. They still may have some size, but. <laughs> You did you ever KFC, get like a chicken pot pie? I like chicken pot pie. KFC right. be serving the same size, Brandon. City. <laughs> they do. The 80s now. It would you be good size? So when's the last time you've been to KFC? Probably last year. Okay, I'm just or saying, this I'm year or this year. What last? Probably. But, this so year. what's what's the difference? Like what? Why is Popeyes going this route that they going? The Popeyes, <laughs> they got rid of that black the black woman. <laughs> <laughs> And they 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 went strictly they going strictly the capitals this way. They mm-hmm. this is a Canadian company, so they make money off of starches. People like right. starches. And it's just easier to make some fries and a little coleslaw and stuff like that and get it serve it. Wait, they got a, they had that shrimp too. Like the shrimp is not what it used to be either. But I think that's all, all the way around. You know that little tackle box that you do. A uh, quarter of a century ago, <laughs> they had a big, large shrimp. Right, you get, right. You get five of them. Like they was like, right. like somebody peeled the shell off there at the place right. and good, fried them. Good quality, right? But now, mm, no. Now you got no Vietnamese shrimp. You mean <laughs> the small ones? You know what I'm saying? Right. 
And you know but, how shrimp is, they're small already, but then when you cook them, they go shrink even more. So, but go ahead, go ahead. But a quarter century, Brandon, I said the shrimps was this big a quarter century ago. <laughs> that was one shrimp. You see this? Yes. You just go there and get this and dip it in the sauce. Right. right. <laughs> like three bites. Right. right. <laughs> now, what was, the, what was the shrimp now? Hold on. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to the size of the shrimp. Okay, I got some size of the shrimp. Hold on. I can get it. Now you say, let me get a five piece shrimp. <laughs> One shrimp be this big. <laughs> One shrimp be this big. The black thing. That's, that's, that's the tail. The black thing. The tail. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You got to pinch the tail. You got, what you got to do? Pinch the tail to get the, to get the, the little meat piece of meat out. <laughs> but yeah, so this lonely lady took her family to Popeye's chicken. Notice. Brennan, was it a male in the car? Probably not. <laughs> Brennan, is this true? I may be wrong. Okay, go ahead. Who complained about food more in the restaurant? Male or female? Women. Why Women. is that, Brennan? I just I don't know. I was I was joking with my wife the other day. Like, um, we'll go to we used to go to a drive thru or whatever, and I'll be ready to order what I want to order. And she'll try to order something. If they don't got it, she ready to pull off. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. But women, they, they want what they want, and they may not want anything else. Like we have second or third options just in case they out of something. You know what I mean? Okay. What about you at the restaurant? And they make a very small mistake at your restaurant. I'm cool. Right? I'm hey, that, it is what it is. I'm not gonna make no fuss. But that's not the same thing with the uh, opposite sex. For some reason, oh, oh, they'll send okay. it back. I'm not even sending no food bag. Are you type to send a food bag? Like it's got to be really messed up for me to send it back. Yeah, I can't. It'll be yeah, something got to be like real bad. Right now, I let okay. Popeyes only serve chicken, <laughs> French fries, and mashed potatoes. <laughs> how how did they mess up for the order, Brandon? Right, right, <laughs> right. And two of those items you named, it's the same thing. It's potatoes and potatoes. <laughs> What what order? Well, how did they mess up, Bernie? They did fried they the fries too much. Or did, <laughs> did they forget up. the ketchup? Did they forget the dipping sauce? That's a, that's it it got to be something I, that's like what that. You're saying. Yeah, right, right. Was it worth it? Like I said, if I get something from Popeyes, I'm expect like it, it may be messed up, and you know that's my fault. I shouldn't even never came to Popeyes to start with. I should have been at home cooking for my family in the first place. But you know. If you go to Popeyes in Atlanta at a certain time, you I mean you just may come across that. And you just gotta take that L. Or you can get your hair pulled out and be in a fist fight, fight for your damn life. Now, <laughs> okay, now I'm about to I'm about to defend these Popeyes workers. The mom, okay. the okay. daughter, and the sister. And I was in the workers. Oh, oh what what? I said the it mom, was, the daughter, all, and the sister. There was all jumped working. on this woman. It was all working at, at Popeyes. Yeah, at, you, oh, nepotism at his finest. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, Brandon, do you think with the lady swam back in line? <laughs> you think she was pleasant? No, she wasn't. Now, with me, if somebody messed up my order, mm -hmm. most likely I ain't going back in. But if yeah. I did, do you think I'd go through the no. drive-through or go inside? I would go inside. I would go inside because I I don't I want to see what's going on with my food if I'm doing that and I and I'm not gonna be turning up on them I'll be like hey you know I wanted my fries this way I wanted my chicken sandwich this way and there may be something wrong with it can I get you know can y'all do something for me you know you want to be I, you're not trying to humble yourself because you didn't mess up but these people got your food like you want them to remake your food and you right, what's eating. wrong with your chicken sandwich Brad you wanted no mayonnaise, and <laughs> mayonnaise on it. well clearly I want I want a certain way like y'all put too much mayonnaise I want extra pickles or something yeah and I don't have pickles at the house so I had to and like I said I'm instead of going home where when you know time is money and I'm wasting time at, at Popeye's spinning back around to trying to get my order right I'm complaining about something I'm about to make a, a give a tip to everybody. I do this tip every. I didn't do this tip one time in my life. When I go to a fast food restaurant, mm. when they hand me the food, I check my order right there mm. before. That's a good thing to do. Pulling off, I always do. I check, boom, 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 boom. Then I pull off. Nice. And imagine, guess what, Brandon? What? I never have no problems once once I pull off. <laughs> and if something's incorrect. Maybe I was talking to somebody needed some ketchup, so mm -hmm. I asked for some ketchup. All right. 
I, I never had no problems. Right. But if you drive off, <laughs> get back in the drive through line, and you know what's right. wrong. Popeyes take 45 minutes to get your food <laughs> after seven o'clock <laughs> p.m. Right. So if it's seven o'clock p.m., gonna take you 45 minutes. So she drove through. The people forgot who she was, Brandon. Right. And, she, <laughs> and, she, <laughs> and then they might have known, but you can't just talk to these people who feel like they're overworked, they're tired, they're aggravated. You're not the first customer to complain that day, I'm sure. Like, some people be <laughs> going through a lot in the fast food industry. So, all right. Now, Go ahead. Oh, keep going, Brian. Sorry to no, cut you off. Say, are they in the best moods? Are they maybe a little sensitive? Do you need to kind of, you know, I'm not saying you got to tread light, but this is Popeyes in Atlanta. Like people, people would, you'll die. Like remember when they had the chicken sandwich, people would kill you in Popeyes. Correct. Or, or in this atmosphere, like they're not going to, you're not, I'm not, I'm not saying nobody died in Star, Starbucks, but nobody's thinking about murdering you in Starbucks. It's a different atmosphere. Kind of the same thing with Jeezy. When they when they found out Jeezy's club, I mean that restaurant was his, the atmosphere started changing. That's just what happens. So you got to be careful where you are. All right, Brandon. She's suing for pain and damages. Now mm -hmm. with her hair, should she receive hundred percent of her hair, <laughs> <laughs> or the port the amount that was her hair that got ripped out? How about that? A hundred percent because her whole hairstyle is ruined now. It's, oh, it's, okay. She got. She gonna have to shave her head, or get an implant, or, or whatever. And like I said, I'm not even. Sure, I'm not gonna say this is not her hair because I, I don't know. But I don't. Brady, you know how braids work. I do know how braids work. So it be her hair like at, at the uh, that braided up that connection. Right, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just assuming that this is not her hair. Like all of that is not her hair. Now, Brandon, it may be a 50 50 bit chance mm -hmm. this hair may not grow back. Correct. Because it, it, it seemed like it was pulled. <laughs> yeah. And you better hope your, your particles know how to remake <laughs> brand new particles. Right. Because sometimes hair can be tricky. Yeah. Audience may not notice. Yeah, you got to stimulate it some way. <laughs> you can cut ahead. it. And then grow back up because your right. stem at the bottom still there. Right, right, right. But sometimes, if you pluck it, sometimes, mm -hmm. not all yeah, the time. Yeah, not all the time, right. It may not know I need to grow a new hair back. Right. Especially if it's a, a large group like that. Like, you might have messed up the grouping and nothing is going to grow in those areas. So, I don't know. That's, like I say, was it worth it when you, when she looked back? She was like, damn, could I just uh, ate this food and just went to the damn house? Or did I have to I had to show out in the line? I had to jump bad with him at Popeye's. Wait, wait, we don't know what happened, but I got a feeling have... what happened. Right. Time she said she was getting a dinner for her kids, mm. she was tired already. Right, right there. Baby daddy ain't paying no money. <laughs> he he laid he laid a pop that he laid he he just all day he give out is dick. That's all day he right. give out. He don't give right. out nothing and headaches. Right, and excuses. But here's the thing, Brandon. Is she satisfied in her relationship? No. Yes, she is. If she deal with it, you're satisfied. <laughs> yeah, you deal with it. Are you can try to convince yourself you're satisfied. <laughs> you're satisfied. Hey, My name is Lewis, and just I'm just came to let you know that I have the best financial book for black people on the market today. This book is designed to help you with things like student loans, housing, employment, and also create income streams so you can support your family and provide security for everybody around you guys. This book is uh, black owned, and I use a whole lot of black companies companies making this book this book is available on the link below make sure you check it out guys check out my reviews as of today every person who read my book gave me a phone call about how great the book is guys don't miss this great opportunity to own some black magic guys and it's a quick read and it's entertainment look at it i got strippers in the name but the book is called from zero to 200k you can check out this book with the link below have a good day